So this is what modern leftism does to your brain. Hilarious and sad, Hollywood A-list are mocked for saying Tucker Carlson haunts her nightmares. And that would be Jennifer Lawrence having her nightmares haunted by Tucker Carlson. Because I guess she's terrified of what, secure borders. But you know, she wasn't always like this. Here's an article from 2020 in which Jennifer Lawrence said that Donald Trump made her reconsider her political views. She said she was a little Republican before. Anyway, she said about Trump that this is an impeached president who's broken many laws. Well, which ones exactly? They've accused him of breaking laws. They haven't actually found him guilty of anything. I don't know. Maybe she should look into that. And has refused to condemn white supremacy. That's a lie. That's a hoax. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. There you go, Jennifer. But you know, you really could have just Googled it for yourself. It's not that hard to find. But anyway, yeah, and it feels like there has been a line drawn in the sand. I don't think it's right. It just changes things for me. I don't want to support a president who supports white supremacists. Well, you wouldn't be if you supported him, as I've just shown. You know, I was talking to someone who was very liberal, and they brought that same thing up, and I said, well, you know, there's a clip where you can see, if you just watch a little bit longer than the good people on both sides thing, if you just watch a little bit more of the clip, you can see that this whole thing is a hoax and a lie. Predictably, zero interest in looking at it. Because if you look at it, if you find out the truth, well, then you can't believe the lie anymore. And if everybody around you is very left-wing, that can become inconvenient. So the fact that so many people still believe that hoax, it shows you that there's uh, quite a lot of ignorance is bliss going around. Let's see, Lawrence went on to compare the Trump presidency to Barack Obama's, saying that she remembered a time when Obama would go for long periods without making headlines because things were so stable and certain. Well, that's just because he didn't drone strike you. But it's also because uh, not only were you basically ignoring the news, but the media was also totally subservient to Barack Obama and refused to report on him negatively in any way or blame him for anything negative that was happening. Like uh, ISIS, say. Here's something from 2018. She said, it's not wise career speaking to talk about politics. When Donald Trump got sworn into office, that effing changed. Yeah, things did change. She went from being seen as an actress to being seen as an idiot actress. So anyway, uh, Tucker Carlson is haunting her nightmares. Let's see. Critics roundly mocked superstar actress Jennifer Lawrence after she admitted to having nightmares about popular Fox News host Tucker Carlson on a regular basis. I wonder if he, like, flies in the window with, like, a Dracula cloak on. Anyway, so these comments come from an interview in Vogue. She says much of her disappointment was directed at certain relatives back in Kentucky where she'd grown up, including her father. The 2016 election had torn open a rift in her family. Repairing it was an ongoing process. Particularly since having a baby, she'd been trying to heal. She even discussed with her therapist the recurring nightmares she has about Tucker Carlson. I just worked so hard in the last five years to forgive my dad and my family and try to understand. It's different. The information they are getting is different. Their life is different. Well, the information they're getting is different. Look, conservatives know what the left is thinking and what the left is saying because that's you know 90% of the media. It's unavoidable. You really can't get away from it. But conservatives know other things too. They know the things that the mainstream media refuses to talk about or acknowledge. The modern leftist only knows what the left thinks. They have no idea what conservatives think because they avoid any place they might find out like it's the plague. This is why Jennifer Lawrence has nightmares about Tucker Carlson. She's terrified of hearing something that goes against narrative. But anyway, apparently as uh, Lawrence was relating this, she had a haunted look in her eyes. She would stop several times to apologize or make a self-depreciating joke, then get visibly overtaken by emotion again. Well, let's see, she's got a problem with her whole family. Maybe somebody should tell her, you know, sometimes it's not everybody else. Sometimes it's you. You're the problem. But I imagine that for narcissistic celebrities, that might not go over very well. 
Anyway, Robbie Starbuck says, this is hilarious and sad at the same time. Jennifer Lawrence admits that she has nightmares about Tucker Carlson. These people are absolute lunatics. No argument from me. Uh, Ben Shapiro says, hey, Tucker Carlson, Jennifer Lawrence has been dreaming about you again. (laughs) Uh, How about what Jennifer Lawrence sees every time she nods off? (laughs) I guess that's Tucker Kruger. Anyway, I think that these celebrities are actually providing a public service. Uh, not their acting, not the content they produce, but just in the fact that uh, your average person, like myself, can say, well, you know, I'm no Albert Einstein, but at least I'm not that. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.